The past 12 months has seen a big rise in the number of jellyfish around the UK coastline. I'm at the Sea Life London Aquarium to find about more about these mysterious creatures and why there's been an increase. So guess what we're going to talk about next? <laughs> Lurking behind <laughs> us. Do you know, the thing about jellyfish is they are so beautiful. I think everyone thinks instantly about getting stung. Maybe you have been stung and it's not pleasant. But they are stunning creatures. Do you know, and they're remarkable. They've been here on this earth 500 million years. They've outlived dinosaurs. And there are, there's been an increase in sightings this year. And it seems, just because of that increase in sightings, that jellyfish are thriving as a species. This is like having a giant aquarium behind us. But Tim Offit is at the London Aquarium for us this morning. And more of these beautiful creatures. And, and you were saying, Tim, before, and it's true, it's sort of mesmerising watching them, isn't it? Yeah, they are. I've been staring at these jellyfish. These are Japanese sea nettle jellyfish for about 20 minutes, and they're just so hypnotic. They're incredible creatures, as you say. And today is World Jellyfish Day. Hurrah! Let's have a look at these ones over here as well. These are the white-spotted jellyfish. Find these ones off the coast of Australia. And today, research by the Marine Conservation Society has been published, which suggests there has been a significant rise in the number of jellyfish around the UK and Irish coastline. So we'll be finding out what people here make of these creatures in a moment. But here is some more details about that survey. No brain, no bones, no heart and no eyes. Jellyfish are amongst the most mysterious creatures on Earth. There's been a big rise in the number of jellyfish spotted over the past 12 months in UK and Irish waters. An increase of almost a third on the previous year. The barrel jellyfish, the UK's largest, was the most frequently sighted in the Marine Conservation Society's survey. So at the moment, the jury is out uh, as to why we might be seeing increases in certain jellyfish species. We know that they operate on boom and bust population cycles, so we might be just seeing um, a 20-year boom cycle for barrel jellyfish in UK waters. But at the same time, we know that our oceans are changing. We know that our seas are getting warmer, um, and our warmer winters are probably making our oceans much better for barrel jellyfish. The lion's mane jellyfish was the second most frequently spotted. Like many jellyfish species, its sting can be painful to humans, as can that of the Portuguese man o' war. It's not technically a jellyfish, but is also often spotted around our coastline and washed up on beaches. We always say look but don't touch because if you get stung by a lion's mane jellyfish, it, the, it will really spoil your day. The increases in the number of Portuguese man o' war strandings in the UK could be related to the increased frequency and intensity of these late uh, autumn and winter storms that we're seeing, bringing the, more of these animals into our waters. Not everyone will welcome the thought of more jellyfish around our coastline, but these fascinating creatures have become a more common sight. They are so intriguing. Drew is a jellyologist. You're going to call you that today, jellyologist, yeah? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, yeah, right, so I am. why do you love jellyfish so much? Um, in my opinion, what is there not to love about jellyfish? Um, I love working with them because they are they have such a complex life cycle and I am lucky enough to be part of all of it. I can be part of, you know, getting their eggs out and their polyps and growing up to adult size and I can do that for generations. Okay, now right, we've had some questions coming in. First one is from Naga in the studio and she says, how do jellyfish mate? Um, again, they have such a complex life cycle. They, um, so this is the adult form that you see here. This is the medusa. They will, there's a male and female in most species. They will release their eggs and sperm into the water and those will meet and form planulae. So then those planulae will then settle on the ground on any surface, rocks, ships, anything, and will form polyps. Now those polyps will then um, form asexually some little ephyra, they're called, and those will then grow up to this adult form that you see here. Um, so yeah, they can do, they can be in that polyp form for many, many years 
and they can be in this form for many years as well. Okay, we're going to try and dispel a myth or not. Asking for a friend, okay. if you get stung by a jellyfish, should you pee on the sting? Um, even though that would be funny, I think um, you should never ever do that. Um, I don't know where that myth came from, and I think it came from the ammonia and urea you have in your urine, but it's also, there's a lot of water in your urine too, so it's really not gonna do anything. Um, if you do get stung, you should use hot water for the pain, and you should also use vinegar, something acidic, for, um, to get rid of it. Okay, and very finally, and very briefly, are you pleased that there are more jellyfish around our coastline? Um, I think, I love seeing jellies, and I think it's, it's really cool for you know, everybody to, to see more. Um, I think it could be signs of something that you know, is not exactly what we want um, around, and maybe signs of global warming, but um, I think it'll give us a good opportunity to research more and to see why they're here, because I think that's a really important question. But I, I love jelly, so of course I love seeing them around. And I'm picking up that love all the time. Drew, thank you ever so much indeed. Thank you for dismantling a few myths as well and clarifying a few things as well. Aren't they just fascinating creatures though, whether you like them or not? Obviously, if you've been stung by one, you might not be so keen, but to look at, they are absolutely intriguing, and there are more of them, it would seem, around our coastline. Beautiful. Tim, thank you. And thank you to the Jellyologist. Great job title for answering all our questions. We're always learning something every day. I just didn't know there was such a thing as a Jellyologist. No, now. There we go.